What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we're going to be going into more Xenoblade Chronicles X news but not of the typical fashion. Now some of you may remember from a while ago when I covered Xenoblade in the past. Um, it's kind of the same thing. But anyways, I covered something that talked about the fact that there were some bathing suits in the game for the characters and uh, some of them were risque and it made a lot of us think that maybe this game might be getting censored in some way by the time it reaches us over here in the west, you guys in Europe and other places. Well today I saw an article on Nintendo Life, let's go into what exactly it is. And this kind of pissed me off a little bit, but I don't want to go too in detail about that before you read the article itself. So, the title of this is apparently, You Cannot Alter the Chest Size of Female Characters in the Western Version of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Let's get straight into the article and read the meat and potatoes, man. So, busted. Xenoblade Chronicles X launches in the West soon. A lot of people actually already have their early copies, so congratulations to you guys. I fucking hate you. I wish I had the goddamn game early. Anyways, and it's shaping up to be quite the experience, as you will know if you already read our hands-on impressions with the final code. However, fans expressed some concern at the localization changes made by Nintendo so far. Keyword Nintendo. So maybe one thing I was talking with my girlfriend about earlier is um, we didn't know exactly who decided to make these changes, whether it was the publisher, Nintendo, or the developer, Monolith Soft. So, so far, just judging by the lingo used in this article, it seems like Nintendo might just be the one who made the changes after all. But anyways, first up was the fact that the major character Lin could no longer wear skimpy outfits, aka bathing suits. Alright, there were a lot of people that were split amongst something like this, but it seemed like a big vocal majority, or maybe maybe a vocal minority per se, a lot of people were vocal at the fact that it was just a bathing suit, and at the end of the day here, we go to beaches and see the same thing, you know, people of all ages, ethnicities, sizes, wearing bathing suits, it's nothing really to be too up in arms about, I mean, even in the game itself it said bathing suit for this character, that character, but we figured it would be something that would be adjusted, and sure enough, it has been. As well as rumors that her age had been changed from 13 to 15. We reported on this, but having played the game ourselves, it is now clear she's still 13, just like she was in the Japanese version. So, yeah, that that one, like going into that, is going to be a whole political argument. I know people are very passionate when it comes to subjects like this, but um, moving onward. Another change relating to female characters in the game has been spotted by Game Explain. Shout out to them. In the Avatar creation mode, it is now impossible to adjust or alter the size of a female character's bust. The feature was present in the Japanese version, which launched in April of this year. And I remembered seeing that as one of those features um, way back then. Uh, game of Swain actually did play the game way back. And I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. You know, they're adding in as much customer, excuse me, character customization as possible. And I was even saying to myself, how the hell are they going to add a meter to be able to adjust the bus size? But they have nothing for the hips, nothing for the ass? Come on, man. If you're going to make customization available for all the characters like this, then you need to make it across the board. I mean, I'm not saying this because, you know, like, I, I guess get off on it or whatever, but I'm saying, you know, add something for the fellas, man. Add something to make the bulge bigger or not. Although, did they have something like that in Xenoblade Chronicles X? I don't remember per se. I feel like they did have a bulge increase <laughs> bar or something like that. But, you know, make it across the board, man. Um, you know, you can, you can, I'm sure you can still adjust male characters, um, you know, chest size and, you know, make them more muscular or not in the Western localization of the game now. But, you know, keep those features across the board if you're going to have them, you know? The feature was present. So anyways, now we don't really need to go into any video about this, but I really wanted to see what the people are saying about it. So I asked on Twitter, um, just in a simple post on my, um, if you're not following me on Twitter, by the way, definitely do so. It's the um, link in the description, but I asked people, Xenoblade Chronicles, Western localization, censored the option to customize your character's bus size. So what are your honest opinions about this? So I want to see what some of you dudes are saying, because I do have an opinion, but my opinion, usually, sometimes it can change depending on other information that I get, logical logical arguments and things like that, so I want to see what the people are saying. Does this honestly affect gameplay? If not, then I don't give a fuck from Frankenbean. You have a good point there, my friend. This doesn't really affect gameplay, and, you know, long-term speaking, it won't be something that affects how people feel in terms of, you know, if the gameplay is actually engaging or if the story is entertaining, but... At the same time, the game does focus big on the character customization aspect of it, and there might be some people that get a lot from that in general. And you know, one thing that I'll also say is, in my statement, I don't really like the fact that we are aware of a censorship option going down in the game. Like, I feel like I want to get the full experience overall, you know, and I, I don't like features being taken away. I just feel very sensitive about that. I'm paying money for the game and I want the full features that the full game would have. I know, localization, maybe the game wanted to avoid chances of getting a higher rating, but even then, I still feel like this was an unnecessary move. 
Um, he's saying that it's not really something that we should care about because it won't necessarily affect gameplay. But if it won't affect gameplay, then why even affect it in the first place? I don't know. Anyways, let's, let's, let's keep going with the opinions. The size is pretty good now anyway, so I don't care. True that, the character in the game, she does have um, a sizable bust. I actually was watching Rakeem Marvelous' stream the other day, and I was saying to myself, where is the option to adjust the boob size? But I'm, there are so many options, I guess I just didn't see it. That's what I thought initially, but now knowing that it's not there, point blank, period. But seeing the default size of the character's bosom, I guess it's alright. I mean... I don't know. Maybe they did so to avoid making the character's um, breast too small, so she might potentially look underage. And I guess they didn't want to make you able to make an underage avatar. But still, there are other games that do similar, and you know, this doesn't have to be censored. Maybe they were going for a very specific sweet spot with Xenoblade. Let's see some more comments. He's right, you know. That's true. Who cares? Okay, that's a very interesting one. Not you, apparently. Um, I understand why they did it, but I think it isn't really necessary. It's just someone's bus size. Not a big deal. That's the way I look at it as well, too. Um, and if you can adjust the males, you know, that's why, like I said, if you can adjust the males' pectorials and, you know, adjust other size aspects of their body, then why take out something as simple as this? I feel like the reason why I'm pissed off is because they're adding so much attention to it just by taking it out. Whereas, I don't think it was a big deal in the first place. You can adjust their bosom size. That's something that we've been seeing in a lot of MMOs all across the board lately. Um, at this point, it's commonplace. We see this in America all the time. But why change it then? Why remove it? Because it's not a big deal in the first place, but they took it away, it makes it a big deal. Because it's like, why did you even have to give it so much attention? I don't know. That's just my opinion, though. I, mean, I might just be uninformed here. Um, wasn't worth the sensor at all. It's only a customization, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't worth it. Why do it? it, it there was nothing that, like, well, like, how much of a difference would it really made in the product endgame overall? Would it have been enough to, to shoot the game's rating up through the roof? No. Would it have caused complaints by consumers? I don't know, maybe, but then again, Xenoblade Chronicles X isn't really a game that little kids should be picking up in the ugh, picking up in the first place because in the starting sequence you see the fucking world get destroyed by aliens. Like, I mean, there's a lot of shocking visuals in this game, and I feel like with those included, it shouldn't be something that's tailored for children. So if it's already tailored to a significantly older audience, maybe like teenagers to older teens, then why remove something as mundane as a as a breast customization? I mean. Like, I know it was there, so I'm pissed off that it's not there anymore because it's something that was part of the original game package. So I want to experience the game in its full entirety, you know? Would I have been sitting there all day oogling at the breast sizes and changing them back and forth? No, something I probably would have spent five minutes on. So I guess it doesn't matter, but because they removed it, it does kind of matter now because I know I'm not getting the full experience, even though this is like a, a loop. Uh, like this is why I need you dudes in the comments to you know talk to me about this. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in the comments section today, just seeing where people's heads are at with this topic. I want to be able to expand my mind on this and really come to a solid conclusion as to what my opinions are. By the end of the day, let's look at some more comments. Um, Jib Josh says, "I think it's a daft, unnecessary change, but it doesn't outweigh how grateful I am of the huge localization effort in general." You're goddamn right, man. I can only imagine all the hard work that these guys must have gone through to be able to have this game completely localized in less than a year. Props to Monolith Soft and Nintendo on that. Xenoblade X has character excuse me, Xenoblade X has character customization sold. Of course it did. How do you not know that, Enderbolt? The super old news. Um, Cygnus Yukai says, to be honest, if the game contains mature content already, I don't see the reason to remove the feature. That's what I'm saying, dude. I mean, Aliens fuck the earth in the asshole in the beginning sequence, but yet you remove the ability to, you know, have a little more, a little less cleavage depending on the character. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe it would have added some more options to create interesting characters of different kinds. Like I was planning on recreating Red Robin. Maybe some people would want to recreate their favorite anime characters too in some way. That character customization thing is pretty damn big on that game. I mean, like think about it like this. What if they remove the ability to have different skin tones? Would you be pissed off then? I mean, I feel like it comes from sort of the same field here, you know? Like, the customization is there. It's there to be able to give people options on what they want their character to be like. I want my character to be diverse. I want to be able to have options if you're giving me the ability to create these characters in the first place. So you mean to tell me that the only character that I can create is somebody who has a set chest size and nothing else? I mean, then it's like, I don't know, guys. I, I, I'm trying to get my thoughts straight on this, but I think some of you might know where I'm coming from here. Um, Nintendo is my breast friend. What the hell? I don't think it's something to get really mad over, honestly. I guess not. I guess not. 
I wanted big boob lady. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was planning on making a whole variety of characters with that shit. I want my woman characters to have big tits, sad face. Censorship are bullshit, but not playing the game over a customization option is pretty dumb. I agree with that. There's definitely not enough for us to throw the game to the wayside, but it is enough for us to bring it up. It's an interesting topic and something that I really want to see people talk about here. I want to see what opinions are. Shrugs. And um, Bingu says, from boobage to dialogue, they're censoring a good chunk of a lot of the games they send over here. Lower rating equals more sales. True. But the game is already T as it is, right? So like Chronicles X. Is it T here in America? I want to see what the rating is. Um, let me see here. What does it say? Reading? Maybe I, I feel like I'm missing it. Okay, I'll just search reading. I want I want to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Okay, it's rated T for teen. So it's not like they're they were going for an e game and would a uh, character customization feature like um, cleavage size made the T go to an M? I doubt it. It shouldn't matter since it does not take away from gameplay. It is purely just cosmetic. But apply that logic. Excuse me. Apply that apply that logic to everything else. The whole entire game is a cosmetic. Then I mean the character customization menu. Every single option there is meant for the sole purpose of you customizing your own character and having the options to be able to create a diverse, a diverse character. So I mean. It's like, like, like I said, try removing something else and see the world burn, man. Like, I, I feel very sensitive about this now. This is like, why are you taking features away from me? Something that, like, if maybe if this was back in the 90s and things were censored, we wouldn't be aware of it. So we wouldn't really know of the issue to be able to put a highlight on it. But I feel like people handle sexuality in extremely over-exaggerated ways sometimes. And maybe even I'm doing that myself right now. But... It just doesn't make any sense to me to be able to put that much attention on removing the feature where it's like, oh, we have to remove that. That can't come over here. Why? I want to know the reason why you removed that feature. What's the purpose of it? It's almost like you started a fire by removing the feature rather than just leaving it in in the first place. No one would have given a damn. Who would have given a damn, seriously, in all honesty, in the comments? Would you have fucking been that pissed off if they kept that feature here in America? I don't know. I don't know. I frankly don't care because... I'm not going to play as a woman in the game. I'm buying it for the adventure on Mira, not the bus size. Of course, there will be some people that have that opinion. I don't really care about it. Stupid as shit. Do they think we can't handle it or something? That's what I'm saying. I want to know the reason. Um, it's more about the principle. We aren't receiving the version intended by the devs. Plus, Nintendo of America promised not to censor it. Did they promise not to censor it? Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. It doesn't change the gameplay, so I don't care about the change. Of course, there's going to be a lot of people from that perspective who either weren't going to use a female character at all, um, who don't really give a damn in general about the character customization. But those people, that's not what that feature is tailored to them for. Like It's tailored to them entirely for just the gameplay and the exploration. But there are people like myself who get a lot from character customization in these RPGs. Like anybody who I ever played a game with in the past with customization will tell you, I take hours on those menus to be able to create somebody that I feel like is... Is a, is a character I can use and enjoy looking at and um, have a lot of fun with. You know, it, it's something that I get a lot out of. I like the customization. Like, I'm a big Fantasy Star online player, and you, you all know what Fantasy Star offered the most when you turn that game on, man. That customization menu was deep, and it's it just disappointing to me. Let me see. I don't care for it. I want the game. Anyways, guys, we pretty much covered a lot of the basis in this. There will be some people that don't care, but at the same time, there are some people that are passionate. But what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments, and I will talk to you in the next video. Take care. <clears throat> Man, that fucking, that water hit me, yo. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.